Right, welcome back to the Cop TV. Because we're at Box Park Liverpool, I thought I'd rope in James Redmond again to talk about this. The contract situation yes. between Virgil, Mo, and Trent. The latest is, smash that like button, get your comments into what we're about to discuss. The latest is, basically, Virgil has apparently requested a three-year deal. Yeah, We've yeah. also heard recently that there's been reports in Spain, essentially, that, I mean, this is what the Madrid press do, though, when Madrid want a player, they kind of either make stuff up or accelerate things that aren't really needing to be accelerated or, you know, expanding rumours. That's what the uh, French, the Spanish press do quite exceptionally well and it's been a model of success for years. But there was some reports that Trent might have um, not agreed a, a deal at Anfield for next season. Obviously, it's a foreign club, so in terms of a pre-contract, he can sign that in January. Yes. Where do you stand on all three of the current contract situations? But then there's a few outside of that that are still bubbling away as well. So in terms of if I think they'll get done or not, or in terms Just of... Just what are your current feelings on all of Current them? feelings are nerves. I think when you don't have it locked down, it's nervous. Um, but what I will say is that for the absolute bollocks that it takes for all these players to come into the Premier League, no security <laughs> at, at whatsoever, and to still smash it, unbelievable. And that's sort of my, sort of my, my mentality, is, OK, while you're here, I will enjoy you. And if you go, you go. I will figure out a way to get over you, I will. You know what I mean? No matter which one it is. If it's Salah, it probably would be the one I'm least, ha like, uh, least sad about, because he's older, right? It's nothing to do with how good he is as a player or nothing like that. Virgil and Trent are the ones for me where I go. Get them because you can be the future. Well, Virgil's older the than Mo Salah. He is, but it's also a different role. Salah has always relied on physicality, pace, and all this, and we're seeing now already. You know the, the sort of decline in his regular game to game. Even though he's still getting the numbers, Virgil Van Dijk, you, you don't get under. There's no centre back like Virgil Van Dijk available right no. now. There's not. We can find another Mo Salah. I know people will hate me on that. I'm not disrespecting Mo Salah. Salah's always thrived on system. He's always been a very good player as well. But if you, that's why at Roma he won't score him. 40 goals a season. 19, yeah. Well, there we go. It, it, it's a difference in team. It's an increase in quality. You can get someone else. If you're telling me there's no other winger who can get 20 goals. I mean, you're saying goals. that, but I'm still saying... I mean, I think age-wise you have I'm to prioritise trend. I'm still saying sign an extension. I'm not yeah, saying sell. For Salah, sell I, I want another two years of Salah I'm just least. saying if he does, I'm, it's not the end of the world. It is it's sort of the point that I'm trying to make. I don't think we can say that, though. I disagree, James. You think it's the end of the world if Salah goes? I, the end of the world's a bit of an extreme, but... How do you replace 40 goal contributions? When, when was the last time he got 40? Last season. Last right? season he got 40 goal contributions. Pretty well. How he got, no, I know what you're trying to say. Well, he, how many a, goals? Yeah, he's he's a 30, definitely would have. He's a 30 goal contribution a season forward, isn't he? You can get other forwards who can do that. It's, 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 it's not, but it's not easy to find. But you're but still saying day, get him to sign how long? I don't, want it, I don't want this to be perceived like I'm trying to push Mo Salah out the door because I'm not. I'm trying to say that he can get 30 goals a season, or sorry, 30 goal contributions. You can find someone else who can do that as well. You can spread the goals out. How many teams. years do you want him to sign though? I want it, Salah. Yeah. If he was to sign, I'd say two years. Okay. I'd push for three, but I think it, two is more realistic. Two years. Um, the reports in Spain about Trent. Yes. I mean, Not listen, great. they're just reports. Like I said, a lot of the tacticians in the ES magazine or the Marca magazine, which is the yeah. Madrid one, yeah. it's very biased towards Real Madrid's favour. They will create yeah. headlines. They will intimidate. They will belittle other clubs to try and force them to sell the players. That yeah. is just how it works. Yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's wrong because <laughs> obviously look at all the success that Madrid have had. But they've done it over the years with the Beckhams of the world yeah. and, you know, Bale and Ronaldo. One article goes out or someone speaks. You mean, you heard uh, Rudiger saying to Harry Pinero that Saliba, they'd love Saliba. And then all yeah. of a sudden Arsenal fans yeah. are, that's, that's just, it's like a hurricane of uh, an offer that you really can't it's, it's ever tough. deny. It's tough because you, you just see all the best players go to Real Madrid. I understand if Trent ever wanted to go. For me... Here's the way I'd say to Trent if I was right in front of him. I'm saying to you, listen, okay, fine, you can go to Real Madrid, you can win every trophy there is to win, you can be one of the winningest English right backs of all time if you so please, or you can decide to stay at Liverpool, be truly loved by people who are going to truly love you. It's okay being the winningest English right back of all time. I was going to say hello to her, but she didn't stay long enough. There was someone outside the camera there. Hi, it's Alan, you're all right, my love. Um, <laughs> so that's the thing with Trent. You can be the most winningest right back of all time. In, Riz, in, James Rizman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, Jack? Um, what's it called? 
you can be that or you can be respected by us, the Liverpool fans. It's not and, 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 and I, 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 propose, like. I propose you a question, all right. No. Do you think that he would get the same respect being in the winningest British You mean most player? successful? Yes. Winningness, I don't think that's a word. It is a word, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you want proof? No. Ah, and he's just been taught terminology by a scouser. You can say thank you later. Uh, we'll look that up in the dictionary, because I'm, Win sure I'm, sure I'm pretty sure winningest. Does that exist, Jack? I'm pretty sure that is a term. I'm pretty Winning, sure. What is it? Winningest. Well, whilst he looks it up. Yes, yeah, verification. Me. VAR, um, it's either you, you do that or you get loved by us. Do you think if he goes there, wins all the trophies in the world, he's getting the respect from the English fans, the Spanish fans, the way he would buy Liverpool fans by winning no, just what he's done not. so far? He wouldn't. He wouldn't. So it's either. What does Trent want? Does he want to go and be the, you know, a great... But could he still do that and sign and then leave in a few years and still do that? Sign and then go to Real Madrid yeah. in a few years? Yeah, but right now it's on the table, isn't it? Confirmation? Hey. Winning gust. Whoop, 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 oh, whoop, fair play. Whoop, whoop. Come on, lads, I'll teach you oh, English if you want. Up. You know what I mean? Scouts and that, but I'll still teach you. Multilingual. Oh, Multilingual. Bilingual. Yeah. Bilingual. Uh, Say that, okay, so I fucked up at some point. So, but, I agree with you. But you understand what I'm saying? Of course I do. If you're Trent and I'm saying to you, right, you're the most, whatever, you can be the best, the most successful. Look at Gareth Bale. Does he get the respect that he should no. for his career? What if Trent goes there and does the same? He can stay here, not win anything else and still be loved the way that he is now. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. So it's up to, what does Trent want? Well, does, he wants to be the captain. Does he want the connection to the best people? All right, then, Sam, stay here. It's in your hands. If you think, if you're going to sit, hands, if you're going to sit there and say, if Trent is sitting there saying, oh, I don't know if I'm going to become captain, you're a gaslighter. There's not a chance you don't believe you can't become captain of this team. No way. It's literally in your back. You're the vice captain at the moment. So it's either what do you want? And if he chooses, I want to win every trophy under the sun and not be remembered for it, because he won't be. Trent can go to Real Madrid and not be remembered. Or do you want to stay here and be remembered? It's up to you, my mate. And, 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 whatever and whatever decision he makes, guess what? That will determine my opinion on him as a character. If you want to go and be the best and win everything, good for you, mate. I'll respect you for that. If you want to stay here and be the best here, understood? Understood. <laughs> do you know it's what good I mean? to have him back on the channel. You don't see me. How many years would you like? For Trent? Five. It's five or six. Isn't five, it? yeah. yeah. Five. Um, let five us know because I think the longer the time goes on, you do start to think we're leaving it late. Yeah. We're leaving it late in terms of I yeah, don't know if it, I don't know what yeah. stage of the negotiations we're at, but you don't want to get to like talking about numbers super late on in the day. You kind of want to have all this sorted out. But on the other side, if you're Trent, you're thinking right. Let me see how I go this season. Let's try and do a madness. Yeah. And then I do think he's deciding on how we do this season. That's why he's leaving it so late. Whether it's LFC's side to maybe get that done quick or whether it's his side to wait it out, I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments. But let us know how many years you think is realistic. Let's agree five to that. Let's yeah, agree man. two for Mo. Yeah. And Virgil. Yeah. He'll that's the next sign. one. He'll definitely sign. Uh, yeah. I mean, he wants a three year. Do you think they'll give him a three year deal? Yeah. yeah. I don't see why not. I think um, there's no profit profitability to be had on Virgil so you don't need to worry about oh, what can we sell him on for yeah. later he's at a stage where it's either you keep him or he goes on a free isn't it yeah. so whatever you sign his contract extension as give him as many years as he wants because worst case scenario he'll just get to a point where he's not that good no right. more and we have to suffer with that for a year or so but still he'd probably be the best role model in the yes for the next that. 18 months you guarantee he's still got the best centre back in the league and I want that I know yeah. you want that and Liverpool fans want that so it's important that we do keep hold of him yeah. honestly like I, I would he would be the one if we lost I'm worried about our short term more than anything yeah. out of everyone who we could lose he would be the one who I'd be most worried about uh, long term obviously it's Trent and I just want to clarify as well because you fucking tried to twist this before I saw what you were trying to do what? with Salah I weren't wanting Salah to go Right, I don't want Salah to go. I want Salah that's to stay. That's what I said. How many years do you want him to sign for? Yeah, I no, I know. Nah, but you were, you were thinking, yo, and wait. Yeah, you were like, uh, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Do you know when you were like, um, when you were like, nah, but if he goes, it's not the end of the world, and nah. Do you know what I mean? Like, because that's what I was saying to you. I was saying, it's not it's the end of the world if he goes. It's very difficult to replace. He is, but, is he, but can you replace him? Play. You can, Right now, if you? I'm choosing a winger, it'd probably be Saka, to be honest. What? If there's you a mean, oh, what? You spend too much time with Arsenal fans. <laughs> no, 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 no. If How you're looking you, at wingers no, Alex, who are on, Premier no, League seriously, proven, seriously, who want to you? come to a Alex, European Cup winners Alex. team one day to replace him in three or four years, you don't know how he gets on. Someone else might be around by then that we look at and think that's a nail on for Salah's replacement. Could end up being Chiesa, you never know. 
but you, you can't yeah I think it's difficult to just dismiss how important he is even even in this game you off boys nice one lads you like the lads um, but yeah listen it is what it is we got the win today so we did. hopefully the next win maybe over the international break there's some chat about the contract yeah who knows and then we go from there but um, prediction for this season right now right now in this Se moment second second any cups yeah I'd say one of the domestic cups right which one I'll go with the FA Cup Box Park Wembley. Box Park Wembley. 2.0? Oh, three point, three three point but yeah, man, big up. Great to have you on the channel Thank again, you. brother. Thank right. You. Smash that like button, get your comments in. Virgil, Mo, Trent. Who's signing when, if at all, for how long? Let us know. Take care.